Right, there's a VR to uh, Toxic Threads, uh, Alyssa Clegg. She's a great lady. Um, I can't say more than that. She's a great lady. She's very smart. She's very... Uh, she, she, I just think the world of her. Um, she has a video tonight. Uh, you can go on her channel and you can find it. And she was talking about the World Economic Forum. And... Uh, in the past, I've said, you know, started videos saying I drink, I know stuff, and then put in my two cents. And, yep, I do drink, and I do know stuff. Um, mostly because sometimes I drink with people that know a hell of a lot more than I do. And some of them will speak freely, and some of them don't hold their liquor too well, and they talk pretty loosely. But in any event, I guess the uh, way to start is uh, I knew a guy named John, and he was uh, tied to the Saudi National Bank. Everything that they did in the United States for financing anything went across his desk. And in the early 90s, late 80s, early 90s, I guess it was like 99, 90, 89, 90. He, uh, we were talking one night and he's like, he's telling me what's going on in the Middle East. I'm like, okay. And then I saw him, you know, a couple weeks later and he laid out the entire Desert Storm and Desert, Desert Shield and Desert Storm and what was going to happen. And about six, eight months later, Everything he told me came true, right down to how the tactics were. I mean, it was it was uncanny how he knew what was going on. Um, one of the things that he told me one time, and I, I used to uh, I used to work doing uh, a lot of work doing slum rehabs and factory renovations, and on Sundays I would take my horse on pretty long rides, anywhere from you know eight to twelve, fourteen hours to cover you know. 25 to 30 miles and the trail back was usually through his backyard and I'd be on my horse and he would be in his backyard doing something and that's when we would talk. Um, one of the things he told me way back when, you know, in the 80s, was in the finance world there is builders and there's destroyers and the builders, they want to make a better world and the destroyers are into the quick quick cash. They're going to do something, and they're making a lot of money really fast. And even though the entire population of a country is going to get screwed, it's okay. They're going to make their quick cash, and that's that. And when you get... And that always kind of stayed with me. You know, there's, I've always been around building, and then there's demolition companies, and they destroy it, and I build things. Um, I repair things. Other people scrap things. Um... But the, uh, you get into the World Economic Forum, it was built, it was, it was set up by builders. They had a vision of global commerce, and because of the global commerce, and the countries would be basically dependent on that income from their companies, that there would never be a war, there would never be anything, and everybody's standard of living would go up. And over the years, that, that model has become destroyers. You know, the destroyers have taken over the World Economic Forum. And it's not about, you know, global economies working together. You know, this company from America working with this company from Czechoslovakia, which is sourcing parts from Russia, which is getting its raw materials from Hungary. None of that exists anymore. It, it's all about what can we do to make a hell of a lot of money fast. And um, this guy, John, that I started talking about, he bought $44 million of sovereign debt. And his idea was to uh, start a bank, you know, basically an international bank, so that they could do uh, basically microloans for projects doing, you know, water systems or whatever. 
But the guys who got involved and they just wanted to sell the debt and monetize it. And when it was all said and done, they all made it made a hell of a lot of money. Bottom line, a hell of a lot of money. And he retired from the business. He's just like, screw it. It's it's become predators, not builders anymore. And he, he walked out. But um, right now, you know, the original idea of people getting together and working together and building ties and building a better world is now quick cash. And that's it. And, but whatever the buzzword is, everybody's going to do it. If everybody's got to be woke to be able to get those business ties, well, we'll be more woke than you. And then you'll want to work with us because that'll make you woke because we're so woke or whatever the trend is. And, um, and that's why the whole thing went sideways. You know, it's kind of like the, the local business associations or the chambers of commerce, you know, it, it all works great. Until somebody takes control of it, that's kind of an ass hat, and the next thing you know, the town puts on some whatever, and one business gets all the, uh, they get all the attention. You know, they get all the publicity, and it's the same thing. It's just on the economic forum. It's on a world stage, and um, and that's it. You know, it, it's a shame. You know, and to push their agenda. You know, they got involved with the uh, the United Nations, who's basically been taken over by the asshats out of the world for, you know, sh- you know as long as I've been alive. Um, it was a very flawed plan to begin with, and it's never, uh, it's never met its original obligations. It's never met its original goal. You know, from the Korean War is a, a direct result of uh, the United Nations being formed. And it's never gotten anything right ever since. You know, it never fed Africa, it never cured any, it never did anything right. And now you've got the uh, the Economic World Forum is, is linked to it. And it's, it's all about, you know, self-serving. You know, it's, it's the George Soros's of the world have taken over these things. And the only way to, to fix it is to not partake, to... Uh, you know, just ignore them, you know, just make them irrelevant. Um, a lot of the world has already. Um, some of the world hasn't. The The real hungry part of the world has has taken their handouts, and in the end, they've they've lost their, their little portion of the planet. Anyway, you'll have a great night.